Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about vCenter Server 6.7 High Availability. We're going to talk about this in the context of the two deployment options, vCenter Server with an embedded PSE and vCenter Server with an external PSE. So let's start with the embedded deployment option first. So vCenter Server with an embedded PSE, as the name suggests, is the vCenter services and the PSE services co-located on one vCenter Server appliance. So to protect both the vCenter layer and the PSC layer, we can very easily enable vCenter HA. Now vCenter HA creates a clone of the existing vCenter server appliance. So it's, it's an exact copy. And we also create a witness so that we can do quorum. And these three nodes will exist on the vCenter HA network and communicate with each other. So we would have an active and a passive. So whilst it is an exact clone of the vCenter server appliance, only one instance is ever active at, at one time. You can think of the three nodes together as being a single vCenter server instance. Now, because everything is on the same machine and we're using vCenter HA to protect the entire machine, vCenter HA will protect both the vCenter services and it'll protect the PSE services. So if your vCenter services experience a failure for whatever reason, that should trigger a failover to the passive node to get you back up and running. Similarly, if the PSE services fail, that should also trigger a failover as well. Now, this diagram is a single vCenter server instance. In vSphere 6.7, we can link multiple embedded instances together in a single SSO domain for up to 10 nodes in the SSO domain. And we can enable vCenter HA on each of those 10 nodes. So this all so supports enhanced link mode. So we can have our 10 vCenter embedded instances doing enhanced link mode enabled for vCenter HA to protect our entire vSphere instance in that regards. Now moving over to the external deployment uh, option, we have vCenter server on one machine and a PSC on another machine. Now, similar to the embedded option, we can enable vCenter HA to create a vCenter HA cluster, but for the vCenter services only, because our PSC is external. So again, we could have an active and our passive. Now, this is only protecting half of the story. So if our vCenter a vCenter server goes down, it'll fail over to a passive and we'll get back up and running. However, we don't have any protection at our PSC layer. So when a PSC is external, we need to separately enable PSC HA. So PSC HA is where we deploy an additional PSC into the same SSO domain and the same site and we place them behind a load balancer. So whichever is our active vCenter will point to the load balanced FQDN. So if one of the PSE goes down, the load balancer will automatically redirect the traffic to the next available PSE. And we can have up to four PSEs behind the load balancer for additional redundancy. So in the external deployment model, VCHA, protects the vCenter services. PSEHA protects the PSC services. And again, we can do enhanced link mode in this deployment option as well. We can have multiple vCenters leveraging a single PSEHA instance, and each of those vCenters enabled for vCenter HA.
So we can do a single pane of glass for enhanced length mode for all our B centers with the external model. We can also do it with the embedded model and ensuring that all our services, both the vCenter services and the PSC services are protected no matter which deployment option we choose. So that concludes this video on vCenter Server 6.7, High Availability. I hope you've enjoyed this video.